So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and finally, it's almost been a year. What I have with me here is the 2024 Hongqi H540D. So this is the top of the line model of the H5 here in the Philippines. And I'd like to thank everyone here again at Evo Xterra. They have a variety of vehicles here starting off with this Hongqi H5, the Electric EHS9 and more models here like the BAW MWM model. So I just did PV and the Brambi reviews. So check those all out on my channel and God knows what I will review next since you all know me. So back here with this H5, you get a very nice prominent exterior. This is one of the most eye-catching Chinese sedans or maybe even in sedans in general out there that you can buy today. So being a Hongqi, like usual, you get a red banner that stretches from the hood all the way below here to the grill. As you can see, there's a lot going on in the grill. You get parking sensors all around along too with a front camera. Ground clearance, I think more or less around 140 or 130 millimeters, which is on par like with every other sedans out there. You get a chrome chin here. You get LED lights and repeaters all around. So again, your main lights are just down here below. LED side repeaters too. And what's unique too with this top of the line 40 d line, you get 18 inch wheels all around. And here on the side profile, this H5 is actually much longer than usual. Well, it's not as long as my D. Sorry, it's not as long as the Hongqi H9. So I did a review of that too. So this leans more to the compact sedan uh, category, like example with the Toyota Camry. So you get a red banner logo here again in front of the doors, a chrome strip just down below, and more here too on the door handles itself. So pairing this thing, so you have to open the boot lid twice, like a BMW. Sorry, the engine hood rather, not the boot lid. So being the top of the line model, Firing this is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that produces 221 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. And this one is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The engine code says here 4GC 20TD. So if you know your engine codes, you know this is going to be a reliable engine. We will know though in the future since Hongxi is what one year old just here in our market. And for the 35D uh, TD variant, that one is a one and a half liter turbocharged three cylinder engine or four cylinder. There, but it's very interesting. There's a lower variant, but that one's mated to a seven speed dual clutch transmission. But this being the, one of the first cars I featured too, along with the EHS9. I'm very keen on how this will drive and the power figures alone, the transmission, I'll be honest, kind of leaning more towards like that of the Alfa Romeo Giulia. So let's see on how this will perform. So here now at the rear of this Hongqi H5. So by the way, this H5 is actually based on the Mazda GJ platform. So that's actually a joint venture back in the day with Fo and Mazda. So again, that's why Evo X there were able to acquire BAW units because Hongxi have a relation with Fo slash BAW. So back here, like the ones in front, you get LED lights, but unlike some Chinese cars out there, thank goodness you have a full functioning LED light bar even up here to the boot. So one mistake too during my quick preview of this vehicle, uh, I thought this was a full on Chinese spec vehicle because you have Chinese inscriptions above here but actually that's part of this uh, Hongqi H5 and 2 with the H9 dual exhaust pipes with surrounds on it but at least they go through them so open this boot up there you go like with the premium category there's no official figures of this H5 but I think this is around in between rather 400 to 500 liters I've driven a lot of European brands already yeah it kinda, it's kind of close to those figures but unlike BMW, you can open the underfloor storage up. You only have a tire repair kit. There's no spare tire whatsoever for this H5, not even a donut type. A net storage here on the right side with first aid, with a first aid bag as well too. Like with the European counterparts, you can fold down the rear seats just like that and as well to increase the boot space. So that's about it here with this H5. Let's check out the biggest party piece with this, the interior. This is the interior once again of this Hongqi H5. So here in the door car, it's pretty wide opening. A lot of nice quality materials all around. You get cubby spaces, cup holders on either side. Even my big water jug just about fit there. And to this Hongqi H5 is equipped with a DIN audio sound system. And then, get you out first. For the test. Oh, sweet. So. Overall, again, it's very nice to sit in one of these because Hongqi is one of the oldest Chinese luxury car makers out there. And I will just adjust to a new location because I'm against the light. 
there you go much better so back here uh, here on the left side of the dashboard you get a very nice bronze trim air conditioning vent one fan sheening button for your auto style stop and a cubby space down below but even inside the contents there's felt material which is very similar like as i mentioned the european brands out there steering wheel okay pretty solid you get polyurethane or leather each thing uh, because it's kind of hard but still nice to the touch then you get your digital instrument cluster adjustments on the left side and phone connectivity buttons on the right side and like with every other Hong Chi I tried out there's an additional stock here right down below for your cruise control and then you get here a fully digital instrument cluster I will be a bit honest it's kind of a little bit more reflective than usual but in a dark cloudy uh, time right now uh, it's not that reflective but on sunny days yeah you gotta watch out for that but I think you can just adjust the uh, brightness here too in the infotainment system so as well there are driving modes uh, several driving modes too with this Hong Chi H5 your eco sport comfort and custom mode but the there's no fancy changes here like with other Chinese brands out there but good to know you still have sport mode <laughs> you have a heads-up display as well and then here over on the dashboard is so beautiful you have a two-tone black and red squeegee material and this one's gloss black right above the uh, red material but you're not be gonna be touching that part anyways apart from the air conditioning vent but that's forgivable so to this uh, Hong Chi H5 is dominated by a 12.6 inch vertical infotainment system very similar like that with the American brand hmm, I wonder which one anyways on top of two of the infotainment system you still continues a very little PP uh, red band Hong Chi red banner logo at, at least they uh, put it there kahit papano when did they speak Tagalog all of a sudden sorry <laughs> and here too what I like with this Hong Chi H5 unlike with several Chinese brands out there this one is equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto very good with that Hong Chi and there's just few things you can do here but again everything seems very responsive then you can check your vehicle settings okay the layout's kind of similar with Tesla but hey what, what am I to complain about then you get your Bluetooth functions too and then your video capture image I think this has an onboard dash cam if not mistaken because it has these functions and two we have here a top-down 360 degree camera and a reverse camera itself okay pretty good resolution ish but the front and rear camera is just a little bit too wide for my liking but at least there still is so that's pretty much it uh, okay overall the system you have the infotainment system pretty easy to understand and hopefully if and only I get a lender so I'll be able to demo both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and I just saw now below the infotainment system you get a very large cup and then glove box okay you get an LED light and along too with the felt material with decent amount of space so very similar uh, quality yet again like with the Euro brands and then here finding the center console you have your physical buttons for your climate control and then gear shift along too with your camera button electronic parking brake and your diving selector mode and on the right side you get two cup holders with a 12 volt socket so I'm not sure if the customer cars have cover for the 12 volt socket I mean maybe maybe this one's just missing and then further behind you get a wireless charging pad and the best center console box I've seen in a Chinese vehicle again you have the red banner logo and open it up felt material once again no light but you, you get a medium amount of space because it kind of stretches all the way still inside and biggest highlight for me here oh my goodness I just realized now I think you have ventilations for the seat because my ass is really cold right now so another plus here and the seats again are red okay a lot of balls things surprisingly but still very soft I mean look I'm pushing around left and right still uh, gets the job done and I really like to uh, just going back here on the either side of the door cards your window switches it's not your usual plastic they're all metal too along too with your boot release button so nitpick only no paddle shifters but uh, as again Hong Chi are a car luxury maker so most of your people will be sitting at the back anyways but I'm very curious though as a driver's vehicle because you never know if this could be my next daily savvy so above here you get your SOS button panoramic sunroof control buttons along with touch sensitive LED lights and two a highlight with this H5 as you can see you get as I said the panoramic sun that stretches all the way to the rear seats itself and then voice command microphone over here visor LED light with a vanity mirror ah I mean okay yeah, that's, that's fine 
So yeah, that's about here in France. So rear seats, there's still generous amount of toys. So we get the Hongqi logo behind these seats, along too with a leather map pocket. And here in the middle, you get two air conditioning vents, along too with one USB C port and a USB port with a cubby space further down below. And central armrest. When you open that up, it reveals two pop-out cup holders. Again, more of the Euro vibe kind of things. I mean, not gonna lie, the uh, designer of Hongqi was formerly from Rolls Royce. So I see a lot of cues from Euro brands. And two, space in the back. Okay, I'm not gonna demo myself, but uh, shout out to Riding in Tandem, to Doc, Mam Elaine, and Doc RM. We sit there in the back pretty easily, kahit naka de quattro pa. Yes, we're cross legs and we can still fit there in the rear easily. So, yeah, three or even five people for emergency purposes only can fit all there in the rear, which is good to know. And transmission tunnel, small bump only, it's wide enough you can put your feet up. So, that's enough of me blabbing. I've been waiting for a dang year for this. Let's go for a dive. And I forgot to mention, like with the EHS 9, you get a very fancy start stop button. So, maneuvering here in the car park, get decent amount of ground clearance too. This won't uh, ground out. But I did notice first impressions the hood is kind of long. Uh, comparable again with the compact sedans in this class or a luxury car, example like Rolls Royce. And to just driving around here, I'm surprised you can hear a very nice engine uh, engine hum rather. Since again, this is a powerful vehicle, like I gotta say. I mean, there. So we're just in eco mode, so we'll try, try out the other modes too, later on. Alright. Handling's pretty decent, so okay, let's try it. Okay, sport mode seems more responsive than usual. Okay, eco, normal, and sport. Okay, the sting feel vice, however, the it's still light in general, so let's try now eco mode. A bit of a delay. Okay, now we're talking. Right, 200, uh, 221 horsepower, 340 newton meters on the top. Not surprised, this is kind of peppy. I mean, more peppy than usual. So I think this could be uh, a good daily diver too, or even a sports sedan, mind you, since you have those power figures. So now let's try out, where are we, Costa, oh no, let's go norm, normal mode. Huh? Where's normal mode? Ah, sorry, comfort mode, dummy. That's normal mode. A bit of a delay, but... Oh, wow! Wow! Right. So, the 8-speed transmission. Okay, there's just a little bit of a delay. Classic uh, Chinese uh, vehicle system. However, once you get going, you get really going. And the ride... It's a Hongqi. It's very much comfortable. Not much suspension that's going in. And two airplanes were flying over me. Not much translating it here to the cabin. So you get a lot for your money for what this is. And now let's try the ever crazy eSport mode. Three, two, one, go. Still delay, but. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. The brakes, so so, some. I think it's a bit mushy, but the brake feel in general is pretty strong. Oh. Oh wow, my gosh. Okay, you can skip these tires if you turn off the electronic stability control. I think somewhere here in the infotainment system. But once you get going... Holy sh... Wow, you get to high speed just like that. Right, put you back eco mode. Uh, let's, let's calm down just a bit. Right. Okay, first impressions as an H5, as a driver. Okay, it won't be an alpha. Okay, let's get that out of the way. However, as a just a proper daily, I'm just gonna drive this, like for example, like my Toyota Corolla, for example. This will be a good buy, I got to say. And remember the cost of this. This one starts at 1.6 million pesos for that one and a half liter T-cylinder variant. So yeah, that's among one of the best valued Hongqi uh, cars out there, even just below the EQM5. This one tops out, I think, around 2.2, 2.4 million pesos. Just put the exact price here on the screen. Yeah, for what this is, I think this could be the best value compact sedan you can buy out there. It's got the looks, it gets the luxurious interior, got the space. Hey, it's already a complete car. And it's sporty. <laughs> right. So I can see why now, uh, in some uh, 
big magazines here in the Philippines and articles out there. That's why this was car of the year of last year. I can see why now. I can see why because as an all-rounder, as a daily, even for me, a crazy fast driver. Yeah, I can see why now this is the car of the year. So yeah, that concludes my review of this Hong Chi H5. What a car! So again, I'd like to thank everyone here at Evo Xterra, Hong Chi Philippines. And once again, to Sir Mark here, who assisted me here in this test drive. So if you want your brand new Hong Chi, you may contact Sir Mark. And hopefully soon, let's do to the EHS9. That's the one car that I need to do left. One of two left. And I'll be able to drive one anyways here. So, hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more Hong Chi reviews and hopefully the AHS name. Bye-bye.